Hey, hi. So, what is this? This is a Bessos, uh, how do you call it? Soap, uh, automatic soap uh, dispenser. And it really did work for almost 24 <laughs> hours and then it stopped stopped working now the lead is blinking red which means that the battery are, are not good but I'm sure the batteries are good because they are new so I don't know what is going on with this so let's do a debug ah, why does this thing happen you see it is flashing don't know why it the sensor is, is not working anyway and if I press don't know what it means but ah, this is off now a little soap inside maybe I will take uh, something to dry it out okay never mind so not working so this is brand new got it yesterday how come it is after 24 hours not working okay so first let's of course check the batteries and then I will try to disassemble it and then I will see if I can do something at all hopefully we can so these are the batteries Let's check the new batteries. 1.6 more than in, more than new. 1.6 1.6 and 1.6. Whoa, these batteries are be better than new. Energizer, max something. Okay, so now now let's see if I can disassemble this whoa how come after 24 hours it stopped working why did i leave a, a good feedback i don't understand myself sometimes things that you buy it's better to wait a few days to see if they actually working more than 24 hours okay so now it looks like Phillips screws, I don't know, but I have something that does open it. So I can see four screws. It's hard to see them, but the screwdriver, as you can see, can open them. Ah, and then everything go out. Wow, not exactly something is stuck. This is exactly what I didn't want. As it will happen. <sighs> so I don't know if maybe first I need to to open the top for trying to open this really don't understand maybe maybe this is going apart somehow yes it seems like maybe this can open I really don't want to break it yet Mm. Whoa. Don't know what to do at this point. This goes out. Maybe we'll try to disassemble uh, to to put the batteries maybe again. Don't know. Maybe something will surprise me.
No way. Doesn't really want to work. Shame. Okay, so at this point I have nothing to lose. As you can see. So next thing is to try to understand. how to open this so battery is out four screws are out next 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 I need to open the, the discover there is no other way to to get and uh, to disconnect what need to be disconnect. Whoa! But this can't open. So how can they do it? It doesn't make any sense to me maybe this motor aha uh -huh. maybe this comes out somehow No, it doesn't really help. No, it doesn't make sense. This motor, if this, it should go out from this way somehow I'm sure 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 yes it should go out aha uh -huh. There are two holes here. I don't know the purpose of the holes. Maybe there is another something here. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Aha! Uh -huh. If it doesn't go with the force, use more force. These are the basic rules. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so it can open. Now I can disconnect those two connectors. And even this one. And everything goes out. Haha! <laughs> Ah, use more force when you need more force. Okay, 
These are the basic electronic rules. <sighs> now what can be wrong with these electronics? Can't believe it! This is the touch, this is the electronics and this is the sensor. It looks like the sensor stopped working. Why would the sensor stop working? Ok, ok, let's connect batteries again and try to see. Ok, it's nice because you can close it in this way. Yes, you can. It should close like this. Now I will measure sensor it doesn't sense okay 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 maybe the sensor is okay you can never know this so what I would like to do is to try to of course rotate the motor so I don't know the voltage of the motor I don't know anything so let's try to to see how the motor uh, works okay we get 6.5 volts so This is the minus and this is the plus. So I will try I will try to run the motor myself, very simple. I just need to do a short because I can see that the minus is connected so it should get the plus to uh, to this wire so if I will connect the plus to, to the white wire so the motor should start spinning so let's do this test to see if, if the motor is working and if I'm correct oh <laughs> it is spinning and there is soap inside Okay, so the motor is working. So now I have two options. Or the sensor is not working, or, uh, or the, the MOSFETs that turn, that connect the, the power to the motor doesn't uh, work. So motor is okay, is expected. Now I will try to, to see how this infrared should work. So this is reverse engineering. So I know nothing about. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, the sensor gets 3.3 volts. 
and it get it okay so it, it should put a signal if it recognize anything oh there's a lot of silicone really hard to take it out it doesn't look like a hot glue it looks like a silicone to me so it's a little more challenging to take it out tiny part if you can see this there is the LED and the sensor so they are connected to each other and now the most common sense is that maybe the LED doesn't get the, uh, the maybe it, it is broken or, or I don't know what so I'm turning it on now and checking if the LED has voltage you can see my fluke so this is of course the LED and now the voltage is too low ha. the voltage on the LED is too low Oh, this is interesting. So now maybe this is just LED, it can be just LED soldering issue. Okay, let's look with the microscope on this part and try to understand is the contact between the LED and the connector. I can see where it goes. So one is this pin look disconnected. This is connected. This one is probably connected. This one is this one. And this one is disconnected. Wow! There is a disconnected one of the pins of the LED is not getting to the connector. So let's try to this is a tiny infrared connection. I don't know if this is a PCB issue. Okay, done the fixing. I will bend the wire a little so it won't short anything. Okay. Let's retest this fix. I did just put a, a one wire to reassemble the, the the suspected unconnected wire from the LED. and you can see it is fixed okay so i will show you where the problem was maybe okay after it is fixed 
so this tiny board one of the connection to the LED uh, was broken this was the, the problem with this one first I will now do something very important because there, there was a soap so I will hit everything here to to dry to dry the, the parts that uh, were with the water and soap just hit him bit a little now I want to show the problem in the tiny board so there was a disconnect between the LED and the pin number 2 so I just connected it with a tiny wire and now it looks like it is working okay so now I will close everything and then uh, see that everything works correctly okay so I have to admit it was not easy to solder it and close everything and psh, but it was a, a disconnection in the infrared board so now it's the real test so let's close the batteries and check that everything is working so I remind you it was not recognized in my hand okay so Okay, it looks now it is okay as you see maybe reflection and lighting here but now when I put my hand near it it looks like it is okay okay again okay we'll close everything back and hopefully it will be working properly